the Senterum National Park in the heart of Indonesia, a biosphere reserve essential for climate, biodiversity, and as a livelihood for the people of Borneo. But declining revenues in rubber production are driving more and more farmers to expand agricultural land or seek alternative sources of income. Year after year, vast areas of rainforest are cleared. Strengthening local smallholder farmers is one contribution to a possible solution. If they earn enough money from their rubber cultivation, nature conservation and economic development will succeed. This is the joint project of BMZ and the German tire manufacturer Continental in Borneo. I'm Salima Satir. People here call me Mrs. Ima. I'm 32 and have three children. Hello, my name is Tugiman. Some people say Giman. I'm 36 and a farmer in Menteba. The project helps us a lot. For example, we were taught how to cut the tree from left to right at an angle of 30 to 40 degrees. Many veins of the rubber tree run this way. If we cut them that way, we can hit them immediately. And so more latex leaks out. In the past, everyone here used coconut shells as collecting vessels. This is how dirt and sand got into the rubber. That doesn't happen anymore. Now we use bamboo canes. We've also learned how to plant the rubber trees. A lot has changed. Natural rubber is one of the essential raw materials for the tire industry. Through the project with BMZ, Continental is sourcing sustainably cultivated natural rubber from Indonesia. Thanks to higher yields and quality, the income situation of the smallholders who are being trained also improves. The yield is higher if we do it the way the GIZ has shown us. I've already compared it. I still have a sack from before. I filled that sack in seven or eight days. Now I can fill it in four days. So the yield is pretty good. The project partner Continental needs to be able to verify that the rubber it purchases comes from sustainable cultivation. This way Continental ensures that no forest is destroyed for rubber production. In order to create transparency, a traceability system from Cultivar was introduced. A field agent measures the smallholder's field with an app and makes it visible in the tracking system. This is the start of the traceable supply chain, ensuring that only sustainably produced natural rubber is fed into the system. Continental employees worldwide can trace back to the field where the rubber comes from. And the farmers in Indonesia are also benefiting from the digitalization of their work. The system links them to a reliable purchaser who will buy their sustainably produced rubber at fair prices in the long term. Many factors such as higher yields, fewer contaminated products, optimized supply chains and a better degree of drying help to raise the price of sustainable rubber compared to conventional rubber. The first yields from small farmers in June 2019 prove the concept of the project right. I'm interested in this program because as a rubber farmer I want to know and understand more. The fact that GIZ is here is a great advantage for us. Hopefully we will continue to be guided in the future. And we farmers, I hope, can keep the quality of our rubber high, with God's help. We hope that the rubber price will remain high, because this will also strengthen the other women and give them confidence. And above all, we hope that we can improve the economic situation of all families.